the World Health Organization has categorized biological agents into four risk groups. Biological agents categorized under risk group one pose a low individual risk and a low community risk. This category comprises microorganisms that are unlikely to cause human or animal disease. Biological agents categorized as risk group two pose a moderate individual risk, a low community risk. Pathogens that can cause human or animal disease but are unlikely to be a serious hazard to laboratory workers, the community, livestock, or the environment. Laboratory exposures to risk group two biological agents may cause severe infection. However, effective treatment and preventive measures are available. The risk of spread of infection is limited. Biological agents categorized under risk group three pose a high individual risk, a low community risk. A pathogen that usually causes serious human or animal disease but does not ordinarily spread from one infected individual to another. Effective treatment and preventive measures are available. A biological agent categorized under risk group four poses a high individual risk and a high community risk. A pathogen that usually causes serious human or animal disease and it can be readily transmitted from one individual to another directly or indirectly. Effective treatment and preventive measures are not usually available. The following regional factors must be taken into account when developing a risk assessment and risk mitigation strategy. The regional factors include the pathogenicity of the organism and the variants which have evolved locally. The mode of transmission and the host range of the organism, local immunity, the density of the population, the mobility of the population, the presence of vectors and other environmental factors such as the local climatic conditions. And other two factors which must be considered are the local availability of effective preventive measures and the local availability of effective treatment.